Hey guys, I'm Find the Creator, and this is a special video for my Facebook family, the Small YouTubers Boost um, Facebook group I'm part of. And what I thought, you know what, I'm in the process of building my own recording studio. I would like to uh, make you see my progress. I have a specific questions on how to uh, set up my studio. Basically, I need to get inspired. So I made a special, I made a special video for you guys to see and um, give me tips on what you would do with the studio uh, if it was yours. Um, because I need some help. Uh, let's go to the studio. It's around six minutes away from my house. Uh, I need to get into the car. Technically, I could walk, but um, let's see you in the next clip. So I'm driving towards the studio now, I'm almost halfway. And the reason uh, I'm recording this video is because um, I haven't seen many uh, videos online of small YouTubers uh, having their own private studio to record. Um, so I'm missing on a lot of information and I'm not really there yet to uh, follow along the tips of the more professional YouTubers. I hope I make sense. So. I'm just here recording my uh, my progress. Uh, anyone watching this, uh, maybe could learn, or we obviously can learn from each other. So I'm very excited, and we'll be there shortly. So we are here, it's the giant building in the back, that's my uh, new studio, uh, let me show the outside. So let's go, let's show you guys, it's amazing. For anyone watching, I'm a content creator for YouTube, I'm from Amsterdam, greetings from Amsterdam guys, let's go inside. So we open up this boy with a tag. And hopefully the door opens. Welcome. And we take the elevator upstairs. It's actually quite gorgeous here. Keep loose and sleep by magic room at midnight. So hard to please. Drowning in my fears is like an ocean. Negativity is getting closer. How to keep the human in? This is actually a very nice space. It's all sectioned up in different units. And obviously I have my neighbors. So these are the people who already signed their lease. We have a nice kitchen. Let me just give you guys a tour on this place. This is a nice unit here also. We have another one here in the corner. This is a nice open space to relax obviously we have some restrooms or bathrooms whatever, whatever you want to call it for the ladies a nice table to chill uh, apparently Ted was here uh, on this side where we are here um, from here until the corner which is my unit all youtubers we have a nice girl here um, I think her name is Mina. Um, she's a YouTuber also. And we have 
Oh, now I need to remember names. Elio, he's a content creator also. And then we have find the creator, basically. That's me. So from one, two, here's a nice uh, ring, light. Then we come to the Grand Master's spot. That's my studio. Let's open up this door. Welcome. So, hello guys, welcome to Finder Creator Studios. Let me give you guys a proper 360. This is my amazing studio. Look here. It's absolutely, absolutely big. Well, I think for, 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 for this size, it's, it, yeah, it's amazing actually. Um, let me show you the, the corners. Uh, so, this is what you get from this corner. I started to putting uh, some stuff already. Um, all the things I had from um, my home studio, basically. I'm very fortunate to have this new place. I'm living with uh, a few housemates and they've been very flexible on me filming the content for YouTube I'm, I'm creating inside the living room, inside the house. But it was time to upgrade and this is what I started to rent. I signed the lease on uh, the 4th of November and this is, this is what I have. The reason why I'm making this video because I need to get some inspiration, honestly. I'm a very creative guy but i want to utilize this space as much as possible so any tips on or, or or things you would do things you've done in maybe your own studio really is helpful leave them below in the in the comments um so uh, as you can see i've already started to create this backdrop uh, don't look at the furniture for now this will all be uh, uh be removed um but this is uh, actually four three big walls to cover this is one wall we have a one another one over here and we now have another one there i've decided this this to be the main uh backdrop and the panels i've put up are have two purposes uh, aesthetics you know it looks gorgeous let me show you it looks absolutely gorgeous and it serves to um isolate the sound it's actually noise cancelling or uh, isolation foam and look how gorgeous it looks on the wall can you imagine when it's completely finished how beautiful this backdrop is going to be many youtubers actually uh, are using this um, as a backdrop and um, consider me standing in front of it and the whole wall needs to be covered I need to order more I ordered them on eBay um, the whole wall let me just talk in 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 dollars so everyone could could imagine but i think it's going to be around 200 dollars in uh, just the foam in total um and i actually had to since i'm use having glass use double-sided tape and i have to use um glue because the double-sided tape works perfectly on uh, the glass but it doesn't work good on the foam so too bad i have to glue it which means i cannot reuse it uh, if I need to take them down, but it's okay. Well, investment. Um, so this wall is going to be one of the main walls of creating content. Um, I will have the long uh, sh uh, piece of, sh I don't know how you call it, this, this humongous roll of paper in white, in black, or a different color to generate or, or have different uh, backdrops, depending on what kind of content uh, I'm filming. If it's going to be an interview, a podcast, um, a, a sketch, I can change the, the, the outlay or the background um, not to have the default one. So that's going to be amazing. Um, I have two, things, two, two questions to ask. What do you think I can do with the other wall? Because look at this, this, this one. It's humongous. What would you do? If it was your studio, what would you do with it? The, the cheapest way to close this up, I thought um, now, at first I was like, should I put curtains? But then again, curtains are really, really expensive. So I'm just thinking of closing it down with posters now. But what kind of, what, what could I do in this corner? The other corner I already thought of um, actually using it as uh, a green screen. 
Um, I've already bought the green screen. It's humongous. It's it's absolutely big. Um, don't look at the mess. So this wall could perfectly um, be utilized as a as a green screen. What do you think? Why not? Um, so we have main 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 uh, backdrop number two and number three. Let me show you uh, my entertainment set. This is where we have. The TV and a nice uh, surround system. Um, I'm planning to, to divide this, this this space up in two. Have more of a recording space on this side and on the right more the chill area. So in the middle I'm planning to have a nice sofa and um, to break up the room in two obviously um, and a nice big table on this side also because this is where most of the podcasts will be recorded or we have um i call it camera sessions basically have guests uh, sitting at a table have a table talk uh, a session so one big giant table it's not going to be another table here uh, we'll have permanent and that's the luxury of having a studio when you're done recording you can go home uh, you come back the next day and everything is still there you don't have to break off the studio, break down the studio every time you finish recording something. So the luxury I have now is to have my permanent setup. Amazing. One of the permanent things needs to be lighting. I have a lot of windows. Right now it's a little bit darkish. And the reason why is I kind of... Um, I'll show you in a second but, but i have a lot of windows that's what I was, I was explaining so i have a lot of a lot of natural light coming in so that's amazing uh, but at night um i kind of well now the, the 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 ceiling lights are on so that's it's actually quite good light you can see me quite perfectly honestly but to give to create a different fiber different energy i want, I want to invest in a different lightning so if you have any uh, lighting real system you know the black thingies um, you could assist me on or advise me on or certain uh, light bulbs you're using, maybe dimmable, dimmable lights or a nice uh, colored light. Please leave it, uh, leave a, a suggestion in the comments below. Don't mind uh, seeing links to, to eBay or whatever uh, because I need a lot of um, um, light here in the studio to create the right scenes. You know, to have a back, nice backlight or um, light from, from, from below, if it's LED or whatever. So anything you could advise me on a great lightning system. I do have my two softboxes over there. Right there. Um, but I obviously need more uh, permanent light uh, setup. Just one switch, it's on, switch off. Um, the other thing was, oh, let me show you. Why I actually why it's dark in the previous clip it was uh, light outside right but the reason it's dark because I actually am filming the whole video I'm recording right now on da 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 we have another webcam setting set up right here say hello this is the Logitech C920 we're actually absolutely live on YouTube. So I'm streaming while we are talking uh, the content live on YouTube as a behind the scenes for people to enjoy. So that's uh, that's nice. So if you is feel streaming live a lot, anything you could share and experience would, would really be helpful. So this is the studio, guys. I'm so excited to show you. Um, I'm, I'm, I feel very blessed uh, to have this. Uh, I feel I do feel a pressure to, you know, to. Uh, make the best of it. Uh, should I walk you guys? Uh, let's show you a little bit of the outside of the studio, okay? Because this is an amazing building. Oh, I think. Sorry. That's when. That's when you get when you forget to. Uh, you you actually recording um, the second part uh, on a later time. I've already showed you. Um, so yes, this is the studio. Thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I'm not asking for subscribers, but feel free to subscribe if you want to follow along the, the process of making this studio the best thing uh, ever. Uh, and keep up to date, also, obviously, with my, my new content. I'll be streaming live a lot while I'm here in the studio. I'll be live on YouTube. 
um, yeah, and, and thank you. But then again, I need your help to get inspired. What should I do with these walls and the lightning situation? And what ideas? What would you do actually when you have this space for yourself? Well, thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.